So I'm here today to talk about the strange thermodynamics of black holes. So the other folks here, they've been talking about kind of normal things. Well, not normal, but uh, there's ways to relate them to normal life. I'm kind of going out here, out on a limb, and just going to talk about black holes. Because who doesn't love black holes? So, honest, so let's see. Black holes, what's cool about them? Well, thermodynamically, they have what's called a negative specific heat. So first, what is specific heat? So the specific heat is the amount of energy it takes to raise the temperature of something. So look at this liter of water here. At about one big C cal, so the calories that you see in your food, it takes about one of those to raise this liter of water by about 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, black holes, they have negative specific heat, which means the more energy you put into a black hole, the colder it is thermodynamically, the less it radiates out into the universe because everything is radiating energy away and kind of coming into equilibrium with the things around it. So this water is about the same temperature as the room. But the black hole is going to keep absorbing energy from the room and growing bigger if it's past a certain threshold in size that it can do that. Otherwise, it'll just dissipate away and go out of existence. Poof, gone. Part of the reason that we don't need to worry too much about black holes probably from the LHC is what's just going to happen is they'll form and then they'll go away. Anyway, so the black hole is going to go and it's going to keep absorbing energy and keep lowering its temperature. So how does it ever equilibrate with its surroundings like everything else in thermodynamics does? Well, this has to do with the fact that the universe is expanding, that the universe actually only has a finite amount of energy in it. So as the universe expands, the universe basically cools off. And so the universe is cooling off, so eventually the black hole does reach equilibrium with the universe just because the universe has cooled to that level so that the black hole can start radiating out and just dissipate away into nothing. In fact, in any closed universe, even if the universe wasn't expanding, if it was just closed, what's going to happen is enough energy is going to go into the black hole that the black hole will actually have made its surroundings cold enough that it can still dissipate a little bit and have reached equilibrium with its surroundings. So the black hole to reach equilibrium actually has to alter its surroundings, not just the properties of itself, which I don't know about you guys. I just think that's really, really cool. And I guess that's all I have for that. <laughs> okay.